Matrix multiplication is one of the trickier things that we do with matrices. And so we're going to take a look at sort of an abstract idea and sort of figure out how it all works together. So when multiplying matrices, the first thing we need to do is make sure we actually can multiply matrices together. And not all matrices can always be multiplied. Okay? So looking at it, well, the first thing we need to do is look at the dimensions. And remember, dimensions are rows by columns. So this first matrices is two rows and two columns. So this is a two by two matrices. Rows by columns, two rows, two columns. So this is a two by two as well. Okay. In order to multiply matrices, these two have to be equal. Okay. The two inside the outer, the second dimension of your first matrix, the first dimension of your second. If these are equal, you can multiply. And more so, your resulting matrix, the matrix you're going to be left with, is going to have dimensions of your outermost two. So this is going to be your resulting matrix dimensions. So in this case, we have all twos, so everything is equal, which tells us that we're going to be able to multiply it, and a resulting matrix is going to be a two by two matrix as well. I am going to write this matrix to be really big because it will be fairly involved. So we're going to have a slot here, a slot here, a slot here, and a slot here. So we have a fairly big 2 by 2. And how this works is to find this first spot. The first matrix is, this element is determined by the row of the first matrix, same as and the column as the second. So it's the same as your dimensions, row by column. This is in the first row, first column. So it's determined by the first row and first column. So we have four things determining this one spot. And how it works is you start at the first entry on your row, and you start at the first entry of your column, and you multiply and you add as you go down. So this one we take a times W, and we add that to B times Y. So this is AW plus BY. Okay. A little bit confusing, but let's do another one to see if we have it. So for this entry right here, it is in the first row, second column. So again, we're going to look at the first row over here. But this time we have switched over to the second column. So again, going down the row, down the row and down the column, we take a times x plus b times z. Okay. Now these are pretty involved equations. I wouldn't really recommend memorizing them, but hopefully the concept is what you're looking at. Okay. The first matrix determines the row. Second one determines the column. So say we want to jump forward and look at this entry right here. It's in the second row, second column. So we need to go to our matrices and our second row, second column. Again, the first matrix determines a row, the second one determines a column. So then we just go down the way, CX plus DZ. We'll just finish this one up because we only have one more entry to go. First row, sorry, that's our first row. Our second row, first column. So we're doing with a second row of our first matrix, first column of the second. This will be CW times DY. No, sorry, CW plus DY. So when we're multiplying matrices, always make sure your dimensions are compatible. It's always going to be if you're innermost dimensions are the same. Your outermost dimensions are going to be your resulting matrix. And then whatever spot you're looking for, the row is determined by the first matrix, the column is determined by the second.